Well, remember how conservatives used to hate those close five to four Supreme Court decisions? Well, they like this one by five to four on Thursday. The Supreme Court voted to change finance campaign finance rules that have been around for decades. What's it mean for the future? Who wins? Who loses? Attorney Ben Ginsburg was the national counsel for the Bush presidential campaign in 2000 and again in 2004. Fred Wertheimer is the president of Democracy 21, a nonprofit, nonpartisan advocacy group focused on money and politics. Fred, the way I read this thing, it means corporations can spend as much money as they want, as much as they've got, and can get past their uh, stockholders to knock off a, a politician they don't like or get not one in they like. Knock off a politician who is not prepared to vote for their interests. This is a disaster for citizens. It gives corporations uh, a predominant role uh, on the outside in buying influence, in corrupting How far does it take decisions. us back, Fred? When could you do this before? And this takes us back more than a century. Uh, the effort to prevent corporate wealth being used in federal campaigns started in 1907. It was strengthened in 1947. It's a century of history thrown out the door. It's three Supreme Court precedents overturned by the okay. most radical decision we've ever seen in the campaign finance. You guys used to hate 5-4 decisions back in the Warren days. They were not really good law. Now you're giggling because you've thrown out all restraint on corporate power of American politics by 5-4. I wouldn't describe it as a giggle. 5-4 is beauty in the eye of the beholder. Uh, I think we ought not to be quite so afraid of free speech breaking by out. Cor the corporations have voices and Cor souls? Corporations, corporations and unions have points of view that are part of the political debate. What the First Amendment has been based on is the marketplace of ideas with lots of voices singing loudly. You have some problems with this decision because of the way the system now becomes, but it's not because of letting people speak. But this isn't, this isn't free speech. Corporations have all kinds of ways of speaking. This comes down to whether corporations can corrupt government decisions by basically threatening elected officials or candidates with unlimited expenditures if they don't vote the right way from their standpoint. Now that's been prohibited for a century. And all of a sudden this court comes in here with no, no track record before it, throws out three decisions, and the only change in circumstance that's occurred is the new makeup of the court. So you got new court members, and if that's the way Supreme Court decisions are going to be made, then we're going to okay. see the court right decisions Right now, listen, the average person week. out there can give how much money to a candidate? As of now, you can give $108,000 a year. No, actual hard money, federal money. Federal money, a total of $108,000 a year. Per candidate, $2,400 per primary right. and 2400 total of 108000 a year per individual in an election cycle. $108,000 yes. give. That is the so current federal parties money. and candidates, yeah. yeah. How much can you give to a particular candidate? 2400 per election. But the corporations out of this room give any amount. Not they give. Well, spend. Spend, spend. spend. They can't right. give money to right. the candidates. But suppose that somebody doesn't like Barbara Boxer and they represent at the United, whatever, United Fruit, if they're still around, and they want to give a ton of money to get rid of Barbara Boxer as a senator. They can do it, right? You mean like individuals have always been no, able to no, do no, in our no, election? No, no, give. Individuals spend. have always been able to spend unlimited yeah. amounts. What the court said was that you can't distinguish between an individual and a corporation So I can give an unlimited union. amount of money to the person running against Barbara Boxer? No. All no. right, see, that's the you point. You can spend. Okay. It, it's, okay. You can spend. Can we guys keep it simple? If an average person wants We're to spend an unlimited here. amount of money to help a candidate get elected by giving money to pay money for TV ads, they can't do it. Yes, but they a corporate can. An yes, individual can spend an unlimited amount of money on ads about an election candidate. Just one candidate. They, let's, yes, they can do independent expenditures in unlimited and, and so amounts. So I can pick now. a candidate and give it as, as an individual and give all I want to help them win. Absolutely, not to true? them. Give? You can spend it on them. Buy ads for them. Spend it on them. Buy ads for them. You can, on your own, buy ads. You can? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And so but the court said the corporations and individuals... Why don't people do that instead of giving the candidates that? Well, some do, but most haven't since they've been able to do it for a long time. Look, wow. the corporations, wrong. And, wrong. corporations this is fair. and individuals In other words, this really is just a big same, lot, huh? Chris. Corporations and individuals are not the same. Corporations don't vote. Uh, they should not have the same kind All of right. capacity to influence our elections. You use an example. I'll take one. AIG. 
Let's suppose AAG is mad at you because you weren't willing to bail them out. They're now free to take you out that true? with five or ten million dollars and every corporation, banks, drug companies, insurance companies now. Well, how about all the energy companies? All George the energy Soros, companies that just don't as like George Soros has, Soros has kill it, right? and, the SI, yeah. and the SEIU has. Unions are far more organized today yeah. than corporate America. They've been spending money on unlimited and uh, independent expenditures in their own particular ways. And this the court said that individuals and corporations okay. should be on an even. So this basically setting. kills McCain Feingold, right? Yes. No, it, no, not it kills a part of McCain part. Feingold. It doesn't kill McCain Feingold's prevention wow. of soft money. Sounds like a lurch to the right. I, I, well, I'm not sure I'd agree with that. I think you've got a problem because, as Fred was starting to say, candidates and political parties are now the softest voices in okay, the political process. Okay, I've learned process. something. I never knew that an average person go go a network like this and spend all the money they want advocating some candidate to, to Always win. Been but able it to hasn't that. happened. I've never heard anybody it. It hasn't it. happened. Somebody like Donald Trump said, I like it this guy. It has happened. I've never happened. seen this happen. Anyway, I've learned something tonight. Ben Ginsburg, Fred Wertheimer, up 